Hello, my name is Mary Williams and I am recording my serve and return video. To me, serve and return is the way a child shows that they are indeed using some form of communication. A child who is beginning to communicate may work on getting the attention of others, whether it's nonverbal or verbal. Not showing some other response to the child's form of communication can hinder a child from communicating effectively as he or she develops. Step one in serve and return is share the focus, which means it explains when you see a child who doesn't understand something, watch for curiosity. So for example, a child who, who is reading a book, you can point in the book and explain to the child when they're trying to figure out just what the book is trying to say. Step two is support and encourage. Engaging by response, using the words please and thank you. Um, if a child is putting a puzzle piece together and they put the pieces in correctly without help, you can tell the child, good job. Name it. Say what the item, person, place, or thing out loud and point to it so the child can visually see what the object is and understand what it is. If a child is playing with a car, you can... Um, say the word car and use words or um, the noise that a car makes. Step four is take turns back and forth, kind of like a ping pong effect. <laughs> Allow a child to explore and then help them in explaining in detail the action that they are using, like kicking a ball back and forth to each other. Practice Endings and beginnings is the fifth step in serving return. Notice when a child is, isn't interested in something and wants to go on to the next task and is ready for a new one. Allow the child to explore. If a child is in free play, um, you can tell when they're no longer interested in playing with that item and goes on to something else and may pick up a toy and show it to you. You can explain what that toy is to the child. This concludes my serving return video.